Brothers and sisters in Christ, the last four months have been a time of great instability and difficulty for many of us. We were not prepared for the suddenness and severity of the lockdown orders imposed on all of us as a COVID virus spread throughout our communities. Most disturbing for us as Catholic Christians were the restrictions placed on our faith with the cessation of public worship. The Eucharistic sacrifice is a source and summit of our Christian faith and is a concrete sign for us of God's loving presence. As such, the experience of being unable to access the sacraments, especially the Eucharist, was a profoundly difficult one. Today we rejoice at the easing of restrictions and the opening of our churches again. Once again, we can encounter our Lord in the very special way the sacraments provide for us, including the Eucharist. I encourage you, come back to church. Let us all come back to worship with our brothers and sisters in the sacred house of God. During the lockdown, we were all given the opportunity to make use of live streaming. While it helped me stay connected with my parish community, as the lockdown continued, I really noticed the difference between live streaming and the actual participation of going to Mass at church. As the church teaches, live streaming can never replace worshipping together as a community, as one body of Christ. The Apostle St Paul reminds us, the cup of blessing that we bless, the bread that we break, is a participation in the body and blood of Christ. We who are many are one body, for we all partake in the one bread. Reflecting on this helped me appreciate what it means to be part of this one body of Christ, particularly when I started missing being able to gather as part of a community. I began to appreciate the many different ways people have supported me and my family in our faith journey through their prayers and encouragement. I missed worshipping with the community and witnessing important sacramental celebrations. I'm really looking forward to being able to reconnect with my parish family once again. And so I encourage you too to come back to church, to gather and pray once again with your friends and family of faith. Some of us might still be feeling afraid or anxious because of the pandemic. In this time of uncertainty, I've had to draw strength from my faith. I like to reflect on all those stories where Christ walked amongst the sick, the weary, and those suffering. He healed them by his presence and gave them peace and strength. It's such a gift to be able to pray before the presence of Christ and access the sacraments again. It's also a joyful thing to have our churches reopened again, especially as we approach the season of Advent and Christmas. It's a time in which we remember God sending Jesus Christ, his son, to our world to save us. So I'd like to encourage you too, to come back to Mass so that we can prepare for this holy season. I remember being taught from a very young age about the Eucharist being the real presence of Christ, body, blood, soul and divinity. At every Mass, Father speaks those same words that Jesus spoke at the Last Supper. Take and eat. This is my body. This is my blood. Going to Sunday Mass is the best way to prepare for Christmas. Every time we go to Mass, Jesus comes to us just as he did when he came into the world at that first Christmas. I also look to Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary, who is the model of faith. She herself experienced a Holy Communion of sorts when she received Christ into her body to be his mother. As the doors of our churches are opened again, she can prepare our hearts in faith and joy to imitate her openness to receiving our Lord sacramentally.